One thing I've seen that 17 car do is work the top side of the racetrack. We see him right here enter the corner fairly high, and he's using that upper lane and getting that momentum. And sometimes when you do that, you're running just outside where the rubber is, and that can wear on that tire just a little bit more, too. Trouble again for Juan Montoya, and he has turned it into the wall. And we will have our seventh caution coming out here with 20 laps to go. And Just that car about it ten, didn't get any worse. Yeah. It does. <laughs> 10 laps ago, that car really looked pristine. Yeah, they were sitting in the lead. They just made the a two tire stop and was they were leading the race and going to see exactly what was going to happen. And just shows you how fickle this business is. It can, it can hurt you sometimes, I'll tell you. It's cruel. So there is the uh, Ganassi team as they'll pack it up and head on down the highway. And the first oval win will have to wait for another day. We'll step aside for just a moment. As we said, we've got 20 laps to go under our seventh caution here with Denny Hamlin, Casey Mears, Matt Kenseth. That's the top three. Back here at Texas, you saw what we saw for the first time when we went to break. It was really Marcus Ambrose there in the 59 that got into Montoya, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah it looked like uh, these two rookies that were kind of what Trader calls arguing over space, and it, and it really took out both of them right here. Yeah, top two rookie contenders, and that's just as we explained earlier. Guy on the inside has a lot of responsibility there, not to use up too much of that space because it's easy. Your car flattens out right here, but the track does, and it's easy to, to lose some grip. And it is kind of up to the inside guy because the outside got anywhere to go. <laughs> he ran the wall there. And that's the part that we initially saw where he was turning into the wall. And uh, you know, you mentioned the fact there's Marcus.